Women's Equality Day gives us an opportunity to reflect on the many benefits of true equality. The partnership between the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and Colorado began in 2004. One focus area of the exchanges has been women's leadership. In honor of Women's Equality Day, we take an in-depth look at women serving in Jordan's armed forces. Uh, my name is Maha. I am colonel in the army and director of military women affairs in the Jordanian armed forces. I am married and have four children. I joined the army when I was only 18 years old as a military nursing student in the Royal Medical Services. After graduation, I served as a registered nurse in the military hospital. Then, during my military career, I assumed many leadership and command positions. I was chosen by the general command to take over the position of director of the Department of Military Women Affairs in the JAF. During my service, I faced many challenges as a woman working in the military sectors. The most important of them was some members of my family opposed my work in the army. Some challenges were personal in nature as I had to leave home for the first time in my life for a relatively long period my military training. The number of females in the army was very modest during that period and people are not used to seeing women in military uniforms. Difficulty balancing between my duties in the military with my responsibilities toward my family, particularly both of them are very important to me. And the last one, many male colleagues thought that the army was for men, not for women. They believe that the women in the military are not qualified to take leadership positions simply because they are, uh, they are women. But I didn't that stop me throughout my military service. I have done my duty to the fullest and have worked hard to motivate and support my fellow soldiers to prove to everyone that women can perform the task assigned to them just like their main colleagues and sometimes better. Now I have made it my goal to emphasize the importance of the role and involvement of women in the aspect of military life and actively participate in peacekeeping mission through, in, through the implementation of the Jordanian National Action Plan, United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325 in Women, Peace and Security. To win respect rather than demand opportunity based in equal right claim. The, the department also takes into consideration cultural appropriateness. For example, it allows Muslim service women to wear the hijab as a part of their uniform. This approach demonstrated to the Jordanians that women can serve their country without jeopardizing cultural norms. Now you can see our service women in many fields such as the Real Military Police, Quick Reaction Force, Directorate of Religious Preaching and Guidance, Field Officer in Region, in Regions Command, Instructor and the Trainers in the Military Women Training Center, Royal Air Force, Female Pilot, female military pilot, logistic supply and transport, Royal Guard, Directorate Military Security, Royal Navy Force, Signal Corps, and Military Pam Headquarter Platoon Band.